Good evening, welcome to Ten Barn Farm. Uh, we've had some rain, so we didn't. We had a little bit of rain here where we're at, but this is actually coming from up behind that mountain over here. There's a uh, must have rained pretty good because this is where this drainage comes from. But anyways, you can see it's running quite a bit, running over our road back here, and uh, so I'll show you. We kind of had to. Uh, divert some water. We had it running down part of our road. Our tank is, our water tank is, or the tank here is completely full now. And uh, it's a good thing. We need water. This country needs water really bad. But uh, anyways, I came home to some flooding and we jumped on the tractor and started uh, diverting it and making it where it won't ruin our fields and stuff so but anyways things are starting to look really green and beautiful around here i love it so you can see behind me our pond is completely full 100 percent and uh you see behind me here that's the water running from the road across down and so there's a lake way down there that's gonna get filled up with this but uh, we sure, I <laughs> love the water. So what was happening is over here at the end of the pond, you can see that fresh dirt we stacked up there that was uh, running over there. Last year we had those big floods and I hadn't fixed it from there. And so anyways, we had to fix it because it started running again and uh, and then we diverted it out to the another pasture that there's a pond down there so you can uh, see here this is the outlet one of the outlet pipes this is one outlet out of this pond and it runs out the other outlet is back over there and it runs down where it crosses the road this one is to divert it the outlet structure here is just to allow the water to run here and it runs out through the field down there all the way down to the very end there's a pond down there but this here was running down the road a bit so i dug the ditch a little deeper right here down through here so it runs nice there and you can see it's really flat going across this field so we just have a dike that kind of you can see the water that runs starts running down there there's an outlet way down there and then it goes into that next field and then runs down over there so but this is our permanent pasture field with all the goats in it and uh, they're not even making a dent in it it's growing so fast so but as you can see the water running across the fields there. I stole some dirt to put over there. Took it from here. Eventually we're going to move this dike and the, the, the dike will be this road here. And um, it'll enlarge that pond by double, which will be a great thing. Then we'll be able to irrigate out of that pond. So irrigate more, I should say. But... Anyways, this is a beautiful sight. I love to see water running. It's one of my, I just love it. And so I just wish I could use this water when we needed it. It's so wet right now, I don't really need it. But uh, we've been truly blessed with summer rains, so. Kids are playing in it. Momentum. We need to pull that metal out of there. So there's a piece of metal that when this thing gets really full is down there. It was bottom of a tank, so we're going to get rid of it. So, we get it out of there and 
Hopefully we can get it somewhere. Come on. I found, I found a leech. Come on, pick it up. One, two, three. Go, all be together. Go, go, Kurt. Push, push, push. Come on. There we go. Hey, I didn't get any leeches on me. Me either. Oh, yeah? I saw a look in my boot, and I might have a couple. We need to put this somewhere where we don't have to mess with it anymore. Where are we going to do that? Huh? Bottom of the pond. <laughs> we don't want there. Uh, let's put it on top of these rocks right over here for right now, and then uh, um, we'll, we'll get rid of it. That way. Yeah, but if it's wrapped up in it, you'll never catch it. Here, hang on. Here, hang on. Then your toe will feel really good. Don't pull, don't. Just come over here and, and pull and push. Oh, we got that piece of tin out of the way. Good job, guys. I had to turn the camera off and help them out. They wimped out on us. So, huh, Curtis, did you wimp out on that? Yeah, I did. Ned, damn it. You got to start doing stuff tougher. Yep. Z found a rock to stand on. <laughs> All right, stand up there straight and tall. Huh. Well, Curtis has got you by an inch or two now. How deep is it in there? I don't know. In what part? The, paw, the pond, like not this pond, but the one right over there. No, well, we could have Curtis go walk through it. Can I go walk through it? You want to walk you through it? Curtis, you can yeah. see how deep it is. Yeah, but I want right. to see how deep it is on me. You do? All right, so Curtis is going to walk across here, see how deep it is. So, you said you guys saw a school of catfish, really? Uh huh. They were over there in that corner. Huh. They well, were just eating in the grass. So, I thought I saw something swimming right here. See the little bubbles? Yeah. Probably go find them over there again. I bet you they. Well, if they, if they bred, there's going to be catfish like crazy all up and down this drainage. Yeah, because there's probably a thousand in that swarm. I know. All right, these... Run. Oh, there he goes. Do you guys know how to swim? Oh, oh. Do you want to keep back in there? <laughs> Can you touch? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's so cold. You are a wimp. Your sister's showing you up. Just go. I'm gonna lose my boots. <laughs> what do you think, Ruthie? It's fun but cold. Huh. <laughs> don't lose your boots, Johnny. Yeah, that's why I'm taking them off so I don't lose them. <laughs> what about your socks? I, I don't it. have any. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't find any. <sighs> Is your watch gonna get ruined? Yeah. It's not easy to swim with boots on. No. They pull you back. Ooh, How deep is it, Johnny? I don't know. I'm going to touch right here. Walk straight across that way then. This is fun. <laughs> I can, I can. can you touch there? I can touch right here. <laughs> There's a big rock right over there you can stand on. Oh, <laughs> don't try to swim with your boots. Yeah. Can Are I there? take them off? Yeah, we I need to go. Run. We need to go, guys, so now that you guys saw how deep this is, Curtis is going to swim across this pond. Johnny found a dead catfish. Where at? How big was it, Johnny? It was in here. It was like this long and then like that big around. Oh, really? I don't want to get How'd it die? I don't know. Did or, it look fat? Or did, did, it, did it get stuck with a, um, like a blue heron maybe stuck it? No, it didn't have any holes in it. It was just... Huh. It had a bunch of yellow, like, grease all over it, though. They were been yellow dead. a little bit. So if those things had babies, there's going to be catfish everywhere. Everywhere. Curtis all school baby catfish. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 
kind of cold. They're all over in that other lake over there. Oh, they're going to be all down through here. <laughs> You're going to have wait. to go down and just sane every water that's connected to this. And... Well, I'll bet you down in the lake, all the way down into uh, Boot Lake, there's going to be fish. 